So I'm going to now turn this over to John, and he's going to talk to us about practical applications of how to use OCT in today's practice, in particular, I think, co-registration and other very interesting techniques. Okay, well, thank you, Craig. Um, we're all uh, awaiting with eagerness the uh, optimized uh, results. Um, so I'm going to talk about the practical applications of OCT in uh, today's practice. Uh, we've been using OCT now for a number of years and really have integrated this into our daily practice for a whole variety of reasons. But I think you have to just remember why would we use OCT when we have other imaging modalities available, especially looking at IVUS. Well, really, you have to concentrate on the advantages you have in spatial resolution. That's really what OCT is delivering, is the highest spatial resolution for intravascular imaging currently available. And the way that we're using it is in multiple phases within the interventional process. So really at the start of the procedure, so before intervention, it's, it's really coming into its own, especially in the assessment of patients with acute coronary syndromes. So it's really helping you make a diagnosis it's helping you really visualize pathology. Uh, the, the pathology of the arteries is there before your eyes with these very, very crisp and clear OCT images. Now, once you've made a diagnosis, once you've, you've seen the pathology, you then have to make a treatment decision. So you've seen the plaque rupture. This is the type of, uh, the, the type of image that you can get very frequently. You look at your vessel you look at where the pathology is and you have to then decide how you're going to treat it. And so what OCT enables us to do is to be very exact in our stent placement, our stent sizing, and then once the stents are in is looking for, uh, for the strut and stent uh, strut apposition. And I think in particular with some of the new technologies available with bioresorbable, these, this is the only modality that you can actually see a BVS uh, strut. So I think it has to be the only modality that you use for this type, type of uh, intervention. And of course it comes into its own with this exquisite level of detail for looking at stent performance at follow-up. So we've now moved uh, into the, the next era of uh, OCT imaging and that's integrating fully, moving from a separate console to having it actually integrated within in our cath lab. So alongside the angiogram, we have the OCT images projected in front of you. So this is the new technology from uh, St. Jude, so it's, it's called Optis Eye, and really what it allows you to do is to co-register the angiography directly with the angiogram. And at the bedside, what we're using is a, is a bedside controller, so with this scroll wheel, and you can control all the measurements just at your fingertips, and it really integrates very well within the, the workflow of, of the cath lab. So what you get in front of you is this type of image, an angiogram, so you acquire the angiogram, and at the same time the OCT image is acquired. And this angiogram with this co-registration process is synchronized with the OCT. So what happens is you then will get a marker on your angiogram, and this point on your angiogram directly correlates on the axial images with the OCT image exactly at that point to within a millimeter or so accuracy. And you're then able to cross-reference from the angiogram to the OCT and back again. You can use your longitudinal view and you can then get the measurements that you need for very exact and precise vessel sizing. And in particular, one of the features that's uh, on this new system is this um, lumen profile. Now, we'll, we'll hear in a lot more detail uh, this stent sizing algorithm that Ziet has developed, which will be used within the, uh, the Optimize uh, uh, study and within Illumion 3. And really, these measurements where you decide on your distal landing zone, your proximal landing zone, it gives you the stent length, and you can dial in the sizes. So you can get very, very exact measurements and do very highly precise stenting. It's very important as well, and we've been using it for almost all of our uh, bioresorbable cases. These principles, I think, are even more important. Pre-implantation, vessel preparation is, can be guided exactly uh, by, uh, by OCT. The sizing has to be even more precise. Remember that a malopposed thick strut is, is uh, potentially more of a problem than a malopposed thin strut, so this is important with BVS. And post-implantation, the level of detail that you get is, well, it's, very, it's an exquisite level of detail. You cannot get this with another modality. 
and you can look at the, look at the situation here we've got with uh, strut overlap. And these are two uh, patients we're looking at side by side. Someone, uh, this is somebody inclu included in one of the studies, um, and we have a patient with intravascular ultrasound and OCT of the same segment of vessel. And in fact, it's clearly clear and apparent on, on this trace that you can see the scaffolds. We'll just dial this back. And here you can see the scaffolds within the wall. In fact, you can't see them at all with IVUS. So we've got a new piece of technology available. I think OCT is now being very widely adopted. We're seeing a huge uptake uh, in all of all the countries uh, in Europe uh, and I think in the US as well. It's a very practical everyday tool. OptiSci in particular makes the working within the cath lab extremely seamless. Um, so the clinical decision making is made, made right there at the bedside. Um, your, your line of sight is looking at your screen, your angiogram, and your OCT are next to each other. And the way that the, the system is set up is that you've got finger fingertip control for very high precision decision making for stent sizing and placement.